Hi, welcome to my new video, uh, an introduction, a new introduction to my app Digital Bearing Compass, uh, now in the version 3.0. Uh, there is another video I shot one year ago uh, when I published version 2.0, but since I included a lot of new features in the new version, I decided I would shoot a new video. This time not in Malta like the last video, but this time in the center, in the heart of Vienna. So this is what you see when you open the app. When you open the app for the first time, you will be asked to give the permissions for the app to use the camera and also the GPS. Uh, if you click on the wrong button or want to change the setting uh, afterwards, you can find this in the settings menu of the of your device under apps and under my apps app which is a digital bearing compass uh, in general when uh, you have an app which uses modern features it's easy to mess up something with the settings so uh, if something does not work as expected please contact me and it's usually possible to solve the problem quite easy and I would prefer it instead of giving me a bad rating for the app. Usually the problems can be solved quite easily. Here on the left side you see information about your current location and the direction you are viewing. Um, on the top the magnetic bearing and the true bearing. Uh, below this the pitch which is when you look up or down and the bank when you tilt the device to the left or the right. And below this the latitude, longitude and altitude. You can change the units and you can change the, this, the way the coordinates are displayed, as I will show you afterwards. In the middle of the screen you see a 3D compass. This is for a, a general orientation. And now I show you as the direction is changing. Uh, next I will show you how the pitch changes when I tilt the device up and down and like I do it here and the next would be the bank as it changes. On the lower part of the screen you have several buttons uh, for saving the bearing as in the old versions and also reset everything and uh, to the right is a chain wheel. This is the way you change the settings then you come to this page and in this case you can change the units and the altitude uh, units between feet and meter, distance unit, meter, feet, kilometers and nautical miles and also the coordinate format which I just changed to degrees, minutes and seconds. And now I change also the altitude for demonstration and the distance to meters. And when you switch back to the camera view, you can see everything is in the new format now. The buttons on the left are uh, to shoot bearings. You have two bearings to shoot bearing 1 and bearing 2. This is the same as in the old version, so, so you will probably know this feature if you have this used this app. Uh, so for instance if I look for a nice building to get a bearing and then I press save bearing 1, you see the information is now on the right upper side, uh, the direction which is magnetic in this on this page and also the pitch to the of the bearing. I can do this also a second time, shoot the second bearing, uh, then the information is displayed here. When I go to the map then with the button on the right side, uh, I can see the bearings I've shot, the red and the blue line. And in the upper right edge, uh, I see the direction of the bearings, which is the true bearing on the map. The data is also saved when you close the app, so the real world application would probably be to take two bearings from the same landmark from two different positions and this way you could, could get a cross bearing. Where the lines would intersect, uh, this would be the place of the landmark. You can change the app in the usual way, you can zoom it, you can switch to satellite view and to hybrid view as it is common in map apps. What you can also do is set a fix at the map page. So when you tap on this button on the lower left to add a fix, uh, then you can tap 
on the map on any place you want to set a fix and then the fix is shown here and also some uh, bearing and distance information and when you switch to the camera view you have a, a three-dimensional mark on this fix uh, which is a column which is 100 meters high so when you know uh, with this information you can estimate the height of a landmark Uh, since this version, version 3.0, you can also set a second fix, which is your current location. You do this with the button on the left side, uh, which is labeled by mark location. And when you tap on this button, you set the, the same kind of fix on your current location. It is also marked in the three-dimensional view with a 100 meter high column. It's a little bit hard to see here because I'm at the same location, but I, if I would move a way which I can't because I'm here on a roof uh, then you can see it has a different level label on the upper side but otherwise it's the same kind of column on the right side you have all the information displayed about your marked location there's the uh, difference between the current direction you're viewing and the direction to the location you have the distance to the location and you have the magnetic bearing to the location you can also switch between the fix you have set on the map and the marked location you have set here with the current position by using the switch below all the information as you can see here the column is jumping around a little bit uh, the problem is that the uh, location service and the gps of modern devices is quite accurate but it can vary uh, by a few meters uh, so this is not this is not possible to avoid this at the present moment but we can hope with future generations of ipads and i phones uh, these location services will become more accurate with time also, these two fixes are saved when you close the app. So when you close it and reopen it later, you will have the same fixes and the information you need. When you don't need the information anymore, you can delete it together with the bearings by tapping on this reset button, then everything is gone. With the button to the right side of the reset button, the one with the symbol of the cloud and the sun, you can choose between different colors of the information text you can so you can choose the color with which you can read the text um, best in the, your current lighting conditions like here green like in modern head-up displays of aircraft so i think i've now mentioned all the features of the app so you should have a general overview what you can do with the app so i say thank you very much that you have Watch this video and have fun with my app. Goodbye.